just want to say a few quick words about the recent stabbing of Salman Rushdie. Uh, he was stabbed about 15 times over in New York right before he was going to give a public speech. I believe about free speech. Yeah. In any case, just as a reminder, the country of Iran placed a fatwa on him back in 1989 after declaring that his novel, The Satanic Verses, was blasphemous against Islam. So, I'm not a fan of The Satanic Verses. I've actually, I did read the book, and that's unusual for me. I don't read a lot of novels, especially uh, as an adult, I just don't. I prefer nonfiction. Um, I did read it, and I found it just honestly awful, just this amalgamation of different myths and stuff. I mean, maybe if you come from Islam, it's it's great. I don't know. Uh, this is not to say that I have anything against it because it's blasphemous against Islam, don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of, like, Muhammad cartoons, especially those that, you know, accompany his child bride, Aisha, particularly when she's accurately portrayed with bruising as appears in, uh, in, Islam in Islamic works. But in any case, back to the point at hand here. After the stabbing of the author of that book, Salman Rushdie, um, the media reporting of it has been rather terrible. See, state police actually said that they are unsure of the motive. <laughs> and the mainstream media, of course, repeated that over and over and over again, because that's what they wanted to hear. But can we really just stop pretending? Because I don't think any of us are unsure of the motive here. This is a guy who had to enter protection over in the UK and have basically round-the-clock protection, use a different name, use a pseudonym, just to survive, because there were so many plots against his life. There was one uh, bomber who ended up blowing himself up in the process of creating a bomb trying to blow up this novelist. So it's not like this is really unprecedented. Then the guy gets up on stage behind Salman and then stabs him between 10 and 15 times, we're told. Uh, Someone is now in, in critical condition. There is no question as to what the motive might be. I, I think this is beyond being obtuse. Really, I do. And it's, it's offensive. Can we say the truth? Can we just say that this guy was stabbed in an Islamic terrorist attack on US soil by a Muslim in accordance with the decree of Iran, that is, of course, the Islamic Republic of Iran, which is the full and real and official name, which is a country that Biden keeps trying to renegotiate a nuclear deal with. Can we say that? Because that would be real, genuine reporting. And how is it, by the way, since we're on the topic, that when there's a shooting in a grocery store by a white guy, and the grocery store is in some place that's anywhere less than 90% white, it's assumed that there's a motive there. But right here with this guy, who has constantly had threats against his life from Muslims, from the Islamic world, who has a, a little fatwa against him from Iran, how is it that when he is stabbed, we have to go, well, let's wait and see what the motive is, because we're not quite sure. We? We are quite sure as to what the motive is. The, the mainstream media doesn't want to be sure. There's, there's a big distinction here. And really, I think it's, it's egregious that these mainstream media sources are so unwilling to simply speak the truth in attacks like this. You made it to the end. You either really liked or really hated that video. Let's assume you liked it. There are lots more that you can choose from, and also you can follow me on Gab and various other social media sites. And if you are able to support the channel, that's an option for you too. There are links in the description below. Thank you so much.